A pleasant day to everyone. I'm here to guide you through our lesson for the first quarter. What we are discussing for module 1 is about sequences. And the second lesson for this module is all about geometric sequence and series. It is a geometric sequence when the same number is multiplied to get from one term to the next. The number being multiplied is called the common ratio or denoted by R, letter R. To find the common ratio, divide any two consecutive terms. So to find R, quantity of A sub 2 divided by A sub 1 or quantity of A sub 3 divided by A sub 2 or quantity of A sub 4 divided by A sub 3. Example, in the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, what is the common ratio? So to find the common ratio, get the quotient of A sub 2 and A sub 1. So 4, which is A sub 2, divided by 2, which is A sub 1, is equal to 2. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. 16 divided by 8 is 2 also. 32 divided by 16 is 2 also. So what is the common ratio? So therefore, the common ratio is 2. What about in example number 2? What is the common ratio? So again, to find the common ratio, divide a sub 2 to a sub 1. So negative 9 divided by 27 is equal to negative 1 third. 3 divided by negative 9 is negative 1 third also. And negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. So therefore, it is a geometric sequence and the common ratio is negative 1 third. Decide if each sequence is a geometric sequence. If so, find the common ratio. Number 1. In the sequence 3, 12, 48, 192, and so on, is it a geometric sequence? So in order for us to identify if the following sequence is a geometric sequence, we need to find first the common ratio. So to find the common ratio, divide a sub 2 to a sub 1, or a sub 3 to a sub 2, or a sub 4 to a sub 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 48 divided by 12 is 4 also. 192 divided by 48 is 4. So therefore, it is a geometric sequence and the common ratio is 4. What about in number 2? In number 2, in the sequence negative 5, negative 8, negative 13, negative 21, and so on, in order for us to identify if it is a geometric sequence, we need to find the common ratio first. So in number 2, we do not have a common ratio. So therefore, it is not a geometric sequence. What about in number 3? In number 3, is there a common ratio? None. So therefore, it is not a geometric sequence since it has no common ratio. What about in number 4? In the sequence 1 half, 1, 2, 4, 
8 and so on, is there a common ratio? Yes, there is a common ratio. And the common ratio is 2. 1 divided by 1 half is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2 also. So therefore, it is a geometric sequence and the common ratio is 2.